Millions of people around the world are adapting to working from home during this global pandemic. Some of the most well-equipped for these conditions are the YouTubers. Prior to COVID, many YouTubers would go weeks without any human interaction. They may appear to be playing on their computers, but they are in fact running a business. For those who can overcome the distractions, working from home can provide endless freedom. It is that very freedom that has led them to chase the YouTube dream. Ah, here the common Caucasian YouTuber emerges from a delightful slumber in his lair. We'll call him Chris. With limited access to provisions, Chris must scavenge through the kitchen leftovers for his sustenance. After 20 minutes of feasting, Chris is ready to begin his work. He must forage through the folders of his computer to find fruitful pieces of content to entertain his tribe of enthusiastic content creators. After 48 days of social distancing, every day begins to feel the same. But today is different. At first glance, the difference may be hard to notice, but Chris has strayed away from his MacBook Pro. Instead, he uses the Razer Blade 15 Studio Edition. It is thought that the razor blade is as powerful as a desktop. But you'll have to keep watching this video to find out. As the older British male voiceover just pointed out, today we're going to be finding out if my new laptop, the Razer Blade 15 Studio Edition, is as powerful as a desktop. All right, so let me tell you why I'm actually super stoked about this laptop. Now, about a month ago, when social distancing went into effect, we had a project that we were working on that was very After Effects heavy. Lucas, my editor, had to take that project home to his older desktop computer. He tried exporting it, and it failed. Wait for it. Wait for it. Seven teen times he would text me every day and be like it failed again and i'd just be like how huh? okay, okay try again please at that point i was like just take our desktop computer from work home which has like a 2080 ti in it like this thing is a workhorse it crushes it he took it home exported the first try but now that thing's living at his house and i'm left with a 2016 macbook pro to work on where the space bar doesn't even work a swing and a miss apple. All right, so enough of my sob story. Poor Chris and all his computers, oh. So I've been using this computer for the last week or so, and let me tell you why I'm so excited about it. Spoiler alert, it's dope. Dope, 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 dope. All right, we're gonna break down this computer into two areas, hardware and software, starting with hardware. Let's start with the surface level stuff, the appearance, or in our lingo, the aesthetics. This thing looks amazing. What I really appreciate is that they've moved away from like a gamer look and it's geared more to creative professionals like myself. It's polished, professional, it has a great look and feel. The reason why I shied away from PC laptops in the past is because of that like plasticky feel. It never really felt like an inspiring computer to work off of. But this laptop on the other hand, you open it up and you're like, to create something. All right, so let's jump into these specs. 4K OLED touchscreen display. Oh, 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 who knew the footage looked this good? Like, come on, did you? The touchscreen is extremely responsive if that's your jam, but I'm an elder millennial. I'm stuck in my way, so I like to use the trackpad and the keyboard. Speaking of which, the keyboard, it's so satisfying. You guys ready for some ASMR? Listen to this. Sounds like rain. That could be like white noise while I go to bed. Also, the RGB lights on the keyboard. Razor, nice touch. I feel like I'm conjuring magic. My only beef is that he added like an extra function key on like the right side of the computer. My muscle memory just keeps hitting it by accident. So with time, I will learn and you will learn too. Now the trackpad is a huge improvement from any other PC laptop that I've seen in the past. It's intuitive and it's got those familiar gesture controls that we all love and use. We got Dolby Atmos speakers and now my favorite part, the ports. Oh, oh I've missed you so much. Let's talk about the ports. Starting with three USB 3.0s, headphone and a microphone jack, HDMI, USB-C, Thunderbolt 3, mini display port, and the biggest win by far, an SD card reader for the win. Can I get it? Hey man, seriously, this should be mandatory in every single computer. It's far more reliable and safer than a dongle. Also the word dongle, ew. 
Let's just remove that now from all of our vocabularies. It's erased. You hear the word dong, you're like, I don't know what that means because you now have an SD card slot. Let's take our energy down a little bit right now. Let's talk about something more chill. Bezels, smaller bezels means you have more real estate for editing. Always a win. Okay, onto the hardware inside. It's got the Intel i7 processor, 32 gigs of RAM, but it's also upgradable. Just take these little screws out in the back, pop some new RAM in there. And the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000 GPU. This is what makes this thing such a great tool for creatives. It's literally designed for a workflow. We're talking photo, video, animation, you name it. This thing can handle it. Essentially, the GPU, or graphic processing unit, handles all the encoding and decoding of, take a guess, graphics. You know when you're at like the end of your edit, you have your timeline, you start adding some color to it, some graphics, some effects, and then your machine starts going, and it starts doing like janky playback, and you're like, ah, this isn't fun anymore. I don't enjoy this. What I've noticed is a drastic improvement while using this machine. Video editing just became fun again. Before we talk about software, let's chat about the NVIDIA Studio program. Essentially what NVIDIA is doing is that they're working with hardware manufacturers like Razer and software companies like Adobe to make sure they're taking full advantage of this epic GPU. All the teams are working together to empower creators like us. That's dope. All right, let's talk about software. I think the number one concern that I have when I'm purchasing a new computer is, will my apps work on this machine? In my world, those apps are Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Now we all know that these programs have their good days and their bad days, and what we're trying to do is minimize those bad days. What I appreciate is that NVIDIA has creative app partnerships with Adobe, Blackmagic, and Autodesk. Essentially what it's doing is it's bringing you GPU accelerated performance to your software. In layman terms, that means that the hardware is designed to work with the software. For example, have you ever been in Premiere Pro and seen this little icon right here? This is GPU accelerated effects. That means that that effect is using the GPU to give you better performance. Usually when I'm editing footage, and especially 4K footage, I'm usually playing it back in 1 8th quality. I call this editing blind. Just follow me for a second. So you buy this camera, you shoot it in 4K, then you bring it into your computer, you watch it at 1 8th the quality, and it's like 480p while you're editing, and then you export it back into 4K, and you're like, wow, it looks amazing. Why is it that the most important part of the process being done in the worst quality? Explain to me this, riddle me this, why are we editing potato footage? It takes you out of the creative process and it's so easy to miss mistakes, like syncing issues, time remapping issues, spelling mistakes, if anybody knows this channel, we've made some spelling mistakes. When you play back at higher quality, you can actually see these mistakes and catch them before you export and then upload them and show the world. You're saving time, you're saving money, and you're getting stuff done. That's all we wanna do as creatives. All right, and if that wasn't enough, you got studio ready drivers, which are updated throughout the year to make sure that your apps are running smoothly. You wanna see a fun trick? I know what you're thinking right now. Look into my eyes, closer. Too close, okay. How much is this laptop? Did I get it? Nailed it, I knew it, I knew that's what you were thinking. All right, cost of the laptop, $4,000. Now I know for a lot of you that sounds like a lot of money and given the state of the world right now, I get it, it is. I'm here with you, I'm there. But think about it this way, the average lifespan of a computer is about four years, give or take. Sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's a bit shorter, but for me, it's about four years. So you got $4,000 divided by four, so $1,000 per year. Now divide 1,000 by 365 days, that's $2.77 per day to use this laptop. That's like riding the subway in Toronto one way. But obviously don't ride the subway right now, but you, you get it. Also, if you're using this laptop for business purposes, like myself, not only is it a business write-off, which is gonna save you money on your taxes every year, but you can build the cost of this laptop within your projects. So for example, if you're not already doing this, take note, you should be doing this, charge for the use of the laptop. So we have a line item in our quotes that says HD video editing system, and we charge $50 an hour for that system. You can charge whatever you want. You're gonna make the money back by just having this asset. So ultimately, this machine is saving you time, it's saving you money, it's making you money, which was awesome too. And this thing will pay itself back in no time. All right, so it's finally time to answer the question that we had at the beginning of this video. Is this laptop as powerful as my desktop computer? Let's have a bit of a, a render battle out. So here are the render times for a 15 minute 4K video with motion graphics, color correction, audio processing, and 
time remapping. So here are the results for the desktop, and here are the results for the laptop. Right? Right? Laptop. Not too shabby. Not bad performance considering that this thing is a laptop. That was kind of scary to do, not gonna lie. Okay guys, so we're at the end of this video. I kind of just want to have like a bit of a heart to heart with you and just leave you with something. When I was younger, I used to think that like time was basically infinite. And as I've gotten older, my perspective on time has shifted drastically. I used to work 80 to 90 hours a week. I used to just be all about work, 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 work. And I'm really proud of what we built. We have a production company, we have a YouTube channel. It gives me the opportunity to chat with you guys. But a lot of those hours within those 80 to 90 hour work weeks were spent troubleshooting, waiting for render times, waiting for exports. It's just not how I wanna be spending my time. I have a fiance now, I have a cat, I have hobbies outside of work that I'm trying to invest my time into. So what does a product like this do for me? It gives me more of my life back. The most valuable asset that you have is time. Please, please choose how you spend it wisely. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please press like. That stuff actually makes a difference. Subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other YouTuber stuff. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. I love you, thank you. But most importantly, thank you for your time. I just finished editing. All on this baby, no problems. NVIDIA, thank you for making this laptop. But most importantly, thank you for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in hearing more about the NVIDIA Studio and the new range of Razer Blade Studio Edition laptops, links are where they always are. Also, a little postscript, that's PS by the way, if you didn't know that, postscript because you've already written the script, and now, okay, no, no more of that. If you guys purchase an RTX Studio laptop, you will receive three months free of Adobe Creative Cloud. Huh. Think about how much money you're saving just right there alone. I love it, this is great. This is coming home with me. Bye everyone.